I'm Paul Foster, I'm 34, and I'm here to talk about tattoos and the whole process. Hi, my name is Tori, I'm 21, and I'm a body piercer. My name is Matthew Burdett, and I'm 20 years old, and I'm here to talk about cross-dressing and drag. My first female cosplay was, um, she's called Cruel Teppy, she's a vampire queen, and I watched her in the anime, she just seemed uh, very powerful and I kind of liked that and that's where I went to, why I went to cosplay her. I had so much uh, positive feedback from that, especially when I've um, gone out to a club once in drag and everyone was just really nice about it and I think that's what kind of, well, makes me want to carry on doing um, drag and that sort, just because it, well, it makes me feel happier really. Especially just to relieve all the stress that's going on in my life and just to focus on something else really. My first tattoo was the one on my left leg. I actually had a small one done when I was um, 16, which is actually legal. But I lied and um, I went there with the okay from my mum. And um, sort of um, had that done and it was, um, wasn't it's a sort of new process getting to know it all. Quite exciting really, I felt a bit dangerous. I have 21 piercings in total. Uh, my piercings are, I have four in the cartilage up in my ears and then I have the rook, the tragus, three in that lobe, three in that lobe, then my nose, my lip, my tongue, my tongue web, um, my cleavage dermal, my nipples and my navel. Cosplaying um, is basically just dressing up as uh, one of your favourite characters from be it a manga, an anime, TV show, film, whatever. And then doing drag, it's just kind of making up your own persona and just bringing that to life really. And where you get to be someone else and uh, it's just fun. I think piercings is kind of like a almost temporary way of expressing yourself. So you could get whatever you wanted on your body pierced and then later on if you don't like it anymore you can always take it out. So there's a lot of freedom involved. It, they're very um, personal, quite a lot of expression um, in them. I had a hand in designing one on my arms, so it's, um, it's, I found an image of a bird that I quite liked after doing lots of research. And then I photoshopped it to be able to put the box around. It's always very important to have something that I designed and that I knew no one else would have. I've done loads of piercings on my own. Um, I did my third holes in my ears, I did my lip, I did my tongue web, and I did my own nipples. I think that piercing is an art as much as tattooing is. Uh, you can get so much so many p gorgeous pieces of jewellery and it's just a, an amazing way of adorning your body with, well, with beautiful jewellery. So I think it's very important that you can express yourself through your tattoos and everyone should have the freedom to do that. And with the new techniques and new inks and new machines and things that are coming out, tattoos are, are seen much more as an art form. It's sort of taking the fine art and putting it onto skin really. I find it, um, it's, it's beautiful in a way and there's so much more you can do with it with new techniques. And um, people will see it now as beautiful. Some of the design work that people have done is absolutely amazing. So it's a, yeah, it's a very nice um, art form really, I think. Yeah, I do see drag as an art form and, well, especially getting ready for it normally takes me between half an hour to an hour. First of all, I just, I have to shave. <laughs> Um, but then it just takes forever because you've got to, first you've got to moisturise your face, let that dry, put a primer on, let that dry, and there's just so much makeup. For me it's just being a different person and then being more fabulous, but it's, it's a nice way to express yourself really. I'll definitely be carrying on drag for, uh, for a while I think, um, I don't think there's any reason not to for me. The the way that we can do piercings nowadays, it doesn't, it's not limited to just sticking an earring through a hole anymore. 
I mean, people can implant silicone under their skin, they can pierce their bodies in ways that maybe some people think they shouldn't. I mean, I've had people ask if they can, we can do piercings behind the Achilles tendon in the ankle, I mean, through the gums and the teeth, and people are coming up with weirder and wackier ways to pierce, and with the way technology's moving, to be honest, I think it's going to be able to be a legitimate thing. I don't think I'd really be myself without any piercings or modifications or anything, because it's kind of a big part of my identity, especially considering it's now my job. Yeah, I don't think I'd be me without all of my bling.